Hello and welcome to the first ever Chuck unboxing video. And maybe last if this doesn't go well. So we ordered a bunch of frisbees or discs as the elite say from this craft. Because that's what everybody does. The official disc of ultimate. common misconception when ordering 50 of the same product is that they are all exactly the same. That is, of course, crazy talk. Okay. Everybody knows first is the worst. Second, though. Second is the best, so this is obviously the one we're going to use for games. Um, as you can see, it has a logo. It's not a good logo, but it is a logo. Chuff, because that's who we are. And Chapel Hill Ultimate. Doesn't say Chapel Hill Ultimate Frisbee because I forgot to add that. So, that's on me. Another one, very similar, except one major difference is that when I hold both of them, this one's in my right hand and this one's in my left, so obviously they're not the same. Um, also, if I take this one out of the bag, there's another difference. This one is not in a bag, this one is, so there you go. A lot of differences between 50 and the same product. Let's just do the next one all in a bowl. Again, the same logo, because that's what I told them to do, so I'm glad that they did that. They as in this craft. Tiger claws, because the school mascot is a tiger. I'm not even sure that's a tiger, but uh, one could pretend it's a tiger so that it's school spirit or something. I don't think this is a very good logo, but it's the one that was on our discs before and I didn't feel like changing it. <laughs> Ooh, this one, this one's way different than all the other ones. As you can see, I don't, you probably can't, but there's a little rip in the bag right here, so this disc is basically garbage. You might as well just burn this one. I'll set this one aside. Actually, I'll throw it away with the other one. more. One thing that uh, a team could do when ordering so many of the same discs is to give them away as MVP awards to make certain players feel special and the rest of the team feel really bad about themselves. So that's probably what we'll do because that's fun. Also favorite freshman award which is a classic especially when you only have like two freshmen really really divides them that's what I uh, that's the goal here a few more one interesting fact about uh, frisbees is that they're not called frisbees again if you're an elitist you call them discs if you're a normal person you call them frisbees because that's what everybody else does. Um, yeah, they're also circles. Well, actually, technically they're not circles. Circles are two-dimensional. This is three-dimensional, but, you know, it's like a platter. If you don't know what a frisbee is, look it up. Also, if you don't know what a frisbee is, you probably shouldn't be watching this video, so that's on you. Okay, we got a... Uh, Five more in this half. There's a whole other half, so this would be 25 if you can do simple math. Again, I'm not really sure why they put these them in these bags. It seems like kind of a waste. Oh, this one's dirty, so again, let's just throw this one away. 
There's 47 more. We don't need to use some garbage for these. Again, the plastic bags. It's nice, keeps it relatively clean, but why? Who cares about it being clean? I feel like you could kill a lot of sea turtles with this. Or actually, maybe they can make it into a little home. See? It's like, make a little house out of that. Or they could see it as a jellyfish and try to eat it and die, but I think, I think they could make a little house. It could protect them from sharks because it's thin plastic. Okay, so that's the first 25. Let's just slide, slide them over there. Now the second 25. Ooh, this one, this one's just a bad start already. You probably can't see on the camera, but. There's this little dot right here. Actually, there's two dots. There's one there, and there's one there. None of, well, at least none of the other discs I've examined so far have had those dots. So, again, we should probably burn this one, or maybe give it away as a favorite freshman award, but def definitely not for a game. Kind of missed on that one. A few more. This one's dirty. Oh, it's on the outside of the bag. It's okay. Um, yeah. So I, I got this logo literally by taking a picture on my phone of the old disc because I didn't have the file saved. And then I just cropped it into a circle. So, honestly, the camera quality is pretty good for, uh, for that. Just literally taking a picture of a frisbee that already exists from several years ago and then just making it into a circle. Oh, of course, if you have an iPhone, that's not gonna work, because, you know, camera quality. But, if you have an Android, like any other person that values value, then it should be fine. I think it'd be fun, instead of making Frisbees like, like a plate, that has like some volume in the like the curved area. I think they should just make it a flat. Again, it's not technically a disc because it's not two dimensional, but um, yeah, just like flat, like like flat. I think that would be a you know fun change to the game. I don't know if it would be a good change, but it would be a change, and that is probably going to be a bad change, but, you know, we have all these other 50 frisbees to go back to, if, uh, well, I guess the uh, 46 now, but if we, if we want to change back, we can always do that. <clears throat> Just noticing that uh, 50 frisbees looks a lot, like is, looks like a lot more than it actually is. Um, also, this is going to last several years because we don't really use these in games or practices. These are kind of awards or for players to buy so that we can get more money out of them. Because, you know, capitalism. Um, yeah, and we have like, I have another probably 30 frisbees out in the garage, maybe more, that we use for practices and games and stuff. So. Yeah, also, I guess Jordan, these, okay, a big, uh, a big part of playing Frisbee is, of course, stealing other teams' Frisbees, and then crossing out their team name on the back, and then writing your team name, or your own personal name, so that you can claim it if the other team comes by looking for their own discs. Now, as for Chuff, I will not comment on our own activities, but having discs with your team name on them, on the front, not on the back like most teams do it, when they have general, like, disc craft, disc store discs or whatever, or like spring league, league discs, 
they just write their team name on the back. But if it's on the front, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, defend yourself if we come by and we see this disc in your team's possession. Just saying, Albert, it's going to be, uh, you know, good luck. Very similar to the last uh, 40, but you know, mild changes in curvature and roundness. Of course, brand new frisbees fly the best. Oh, this is horribly warped. So, uh, should definitely get a refund on that one. But you know, they're pretty soft plastic, they just kind of bend back. So, uh, you know, it's not that much. But, although it isn't much of a problem, if you complain, I'm sure they will give you your money back because that's what people like to do these days, complain. Um, this one's also kind of warped, not as much, but uh, as you can see, it is also a frisbee, just like the other ones on this table and the five over there. I think there's five. Might be four, I don't know. Same logo basically the same frisbee, except that this one is here, those ones are there, or over there. So obviously it is not the same frisbee, because they are in different, they occupy different space, so, you know, science. A lot of the same, a lot of waste for uh, these bags, again, like why? Why? They had to build a machine, Discraft, or whatever company they use to do this because I, uh, you know, I mean, they're the company that sells it, but they probably use some other stuff like Breakmark. All their stuff is made in Egypt. So, uh, I don't know about the legality of, um, their working conditions, but, you know, it makes it cheaper for us Americans, so that's fun. But, uh, yeah, plastic bags, come on, guys. Why? You just throw them away immediately when you get them. Why? Okay. Oh, wow. On, on it, it says, I guess it says it on every Discraft disc, 175 gram Ultra Star Professional Sports Disc. Of course, professional means that it can be used in AUDL games or the new PUL games. I assume they're using Discraft because everyone does. Although they might use Aria. Not really sure. Um, professional. That's a, uh, quite a claim, given that the AUDL is bad, so I wouldn't brag too much about it being able to use in a professional game. Um, hopefully the PUL doesn't change as many rules as the AUDL does, because at least for Frisbee players, I'm pretty sure they like club and, you know, USAU rules more than AUDL. Yeah. Um, and that was actually the last one. So this is number 50 right here. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, it says Made in USA, so that's good. Better than Breakmark, but yeah. Ooh, this was made in Westland, Michigan. I believe it was MI. Are they all? Yes, they're all made there because they're the same order. That makes sense. That's probably where they make all their discs. Well, at least in the US. Um, yes, they are Frisbees. That is one thing I can definitely say about them. Um, if I were to rate them 1 to 10 in total, I'd say probably a 9 because they are new, so that automatically at least an 8. Um, and then just says Chapel Hill Ultimate instead of Chapel Hill Ultimate Frisbee. But here it says Chapel Hill Ultimate Frisbee. So a little, little incongruency right there. Um, my bad. Actually, it's a uh, chuck from two, three or four years ago's problem because uh, this logo was designed by them and I just took a picture of it, cropped it into a circle, sent it to Discraft. So that's pretty good. That's on them. Also, they called a sports disc. No, sport disc. No spaces between sport and disc. Um. Nice. So I guess that's the technical term for this. It's not a disc. It's a sport disc. It's not a frisbee. It's a sport disc. 
Also, they trademarked that, like, who, why does anyone care about that? Okay, so that's 50. Or, well, minus those five, four or five that I threw over there that we're going to burn. But, yep. I hope you enjoy. Oh, I gotta get the other frisbee to compare it, or the other sport disc to compare it, the one from three years ago that I have. Um, yeah, I'll go get that. Levi cropped this little part out. That's me gonna be running upstairs and getting that. This is the one from, I believe it was made four or five years ago, but I got it my freshman year, so that would be three years ago. Again, very similar. Took a picture of this disc on my phone, cropped it into a circle. Basically the same logo, except major differences is that when I took a picture, I also enhanced the colors, because this one was kind of, kind of yellowy. This one is more orange. Also the background here is kind of Kind of off-white, like a cream. This one is closer to white, not entirely like the disc white, like the color of the disc, but it's closer than this color. This is also called a sport disc, so obviously that is a term that has been used for a while, also made in Westland, Michigan, so I guess that's where di disc crafts uh, factories are. Um, yes, wrote my name on the back. So that if anyone tries to steal it, obviously I have the legal authority to sue them. And it says Chuff on the front, so that it's obvious that it's a Chuff disc. Not Jordan. Albert. <laughs> Don't steal it. Even though we have 45 usable ones, this is my own. Probably going to keep it nice. So I have something to remember my time on Chuff. Um, yeah. That was, that was kind of a bad throw, so uh, yeah, don't cut me from the team. Yeah, that's uh, 50 in total, new chuff discs. Turns out if you order 50, they give you 50. I counted, not really, I'm just assuming that's 50. Um, and 50 of these little plastic bags you can use to uh, suffocate kids, dogs, sea turtles, drop them in the ocean definitely do some damage there. Um, if you want, you could fill it with water. Put a little rubber band around that and you've got a new, uh, that's probably a little two liter, two liter right there. Maybe all the, if you fill it all the way up, three or four. But if you want to close it, it's probably going to be a two liter capacity you bring to your tournament games, you know. So I guess that's, uh, Discraft is really looking out for a hydration right there. Giving you a little water capacity, water whatever bottle it's not a bottle it's a bag but you know you know what i mean um yeah or you could just hang this on your wall some art modern art because that's what we do these days or burn them in your backyard you know plastic burns all right scientists say that it could cause cancer but uh We'll see after you burn it whether or not that happens. Um, in the name of science, you know. Not really sure why I put it back in the bag because obviously to use it. Actually, you know, it'd be fun. Tape this up so that the disc can't come out. Just tape it right there, and then just play. Just play with it. You know, you're at a your state's game, state's final, you know, or whatever. Queen City, Eula, just just use this in the bag. Obviously not a chuff disc, because if you use this, you will have stolen it from us. Unless we are in the game, then it will not have been stolen. But, you know, I think that would be interesting. A new uh, fun little change to the game. We'll see if we can get that in the new edition of the rules. Um, a captain's closet, you know? If you can kick out observers, you can definitely play with a disc in a plastic bag. So... Yeah, I think that'd be a fun way to test the limits of uh, USAU's rules, which are still better than AUDL, but, uh, you know. Yeah, so that's 50 Frisbees. 51 if you count mine. 
I love Chuff. You love Chuff. We love Chuff.